Okay, so let's go ahead and look at I can find volume using formulas for today's lesson. So let's start off by writing down the formula to find the volume of rectangular prisms. So volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. And typically we don't write out every single word we just write V is equal to L times W times H. Now we're also going to find like a shortcut volume for rectangular prisms, but we're going to discover that together. So let's look at our first example. Let me have a 3D figure. Okay. We're just going to fill in each part to find the volume of this 3D figure. So let's put this, let's put this right here, that's fine. So this 3D figure's length, so side to side, is one, two, so the length is two. Now we're not using an actual standard measurement. Um, usually you'll have centimeters, inches, feet, um, yards, but we're just gonna say this is two units. So one, two is the length. The width, how far back it goes, the depth is one, so it's one, and the height is one, two, three, four. So our volume, multiply them all together, two times one is two, times four is eight, and we never ever just leave it alone, right? We always write what it represents. So the eight cubic units is the volume for this 3D figure. It's the length, two times the width, one times the height, four. Eight, eight cubic units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, makes sense. Now the way we were gonna discover our second volume is kind of like, our formula for volume is kind of like a trick, okay? So we can combine the length and the width and we can call that the base. Okay, we can call that the base. So we can say the length times the width can just be considered the base. This is the base, the green part is the base. And then we can use that to multiply by the height. So the, the shortcut um, formula is volume is equal to base times height. So if we were just to look at that with the numbers, we'd say two times four instead of two times one times four. It's the same thing pretty much, um, but for rectangular prisms, it's just a pretty cool representation if you can um, figure that in your head of how much easier it is to find the volume. All right, so let's look at the second example. Get B, okay, bye bye to the eight. Hello, hello big one. All right, so we have another 3D figure here, obviously a lot bigger. Now this one, you can just say, boom, that's eight, right? You can pretty much count that in your head, maybe after five seconds. But this one, you're really gonna have to look at this one to see, especially um, on a screen it's difficult because you know the screen's flat, you can still kind of see the depth but it's just a little more challenging to count quickly what the volume is for this rectangular prism. Now, let's go ahead and just use our first volume um, formula. So let's look at the length, right? Let's just say the, um, the representation is this way. So if you were to change it to this way, or this way, or this way, you can call the length different things. But let's just say it's this way, okay? So let's put it right here, I know it covers up my formula, but I know it. So the formula is volume is equal to length times width times height. Look at the length. Try to do that one yourself in your head first. What's the length? You should have gotten four. One, two, three, four. So the length is four. Okay, four units. What is the width? Now I'm going to move this one a little bit so you can see. What's the width? Should have gotten two, right? The width is two. One, two, one, two. That's how far back it goes. The width is honestly um, the hardest measurement to kind of spatially understand is the width. The length and the height are pretty direct, but the width is kind of the one that's like, how do you find that? You know, it just takes practice. One, two. And the last one is height, right? Let's look at the height. So what is the height of this 3D figure? One, two. 
Now before we go any further, let's just use that shortcut volume. Let's combine the length and the width first, and that'll give us eight. So our shortcut volume is the base times the height, right? And I can take this apart and I can show you that this base is eight, the base is eight, and I have three layers, one, two, three, right? I have three groups of eight. That's really what it's telling me, three groups of eight, right? And if I know the base, the length times the width, which is equal to eight cubic units, all I have to do is multiply that by the height of the number of layers, eight times three, eight times three, and that'll give me twenty-four, twenty-four cubic units. So just to recap really quick, the formula for volume is volume is equal to for rectangular prisms, length times width times height. The shortcut volume is the base times the height. Um, it's basically the same thing, but again, it's a good representation so you can see, oh, all these fall apart. You can see that if you know the base, right, one layer of a rectangular prism's volume, all you have to do is multiply this one layer by the number of layers total, which is eight times three, sorry, you're like falling apart, which is equal to 24. Or you can go old school, length times width times height will give you your for formula for volume in rectangular prisms.